Hello guys, this is Miss Yosan and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to introduce you to my new series, Who Are They series, where I'll be talking about an underrated K-pop group and having y'all get to know them. Now, today's group that we'll be talking about is Alphabet. Now, Alphabet is a K-pop boy group who made their debut on November 14, 2013 under Shim Tong Entertainment. However, Alphabet was originally a duo group under YUP Entertainment in 2012 with the members Kumin and Seiden. Now, that same year, both members left YUB Entertainment and joined Simtang Entertainment. This is where Satan, who would later be called by his stage name Iota, decided to reform Alphabet. Human, on the other hand, would leave the group and go on to debut into a different K-pop group with three other people. However, I couldn't find what group he re-debuted in, so if anyone can let me know, it would be much appreciated. Alphabet would go on as a nine-member group consisting of Beta, Code, Delta, Epsilon, Phi, Gamma, Heta, Iota, and Jetta. All of those names come from the Greek alphabet. Now the meaning behind alphabet came from the idea that they wanted to show off their diverse and attractive qualities. Like the letters in the English alphabet from A to Z. While the bat part stands for Batman because they wanted to become like heroes to protect their fans. The members were trained in vocal, rap, and dance since their positions changed each comeback or each promotion. Alphabet would drop their debut song AB City on November 15, 2013 and would go on to perform on Arirang, Simply K-Pop, and M Countdown. Later that year, the boys would release a second Christmas-themed digital single surprise party, which would reveal Alphabet's official fandom name called Alpha. The reason as to why the fandom name is called Alpha was because the members thought that the fans were a part of Alphabet. In 2014, Alphabet would make a return in late February with their first mini album, Attention. This is when the title track, Tantara, would be released. And if you guys haven't heard this song, I highly recommend that you listen to this song because this whole song is a bop. Alphabet would continue to grow in 2014, where they would go on to win two awards. The Rookie of the Year at the 22nd KCEA Awards and the Ambassador Award at the 9th Korea Social Contribution Award. Now, in 2016, on November 1st, Alphabet would switch companies from the Korean label Shintong Entertainment to a Japanese label Jaco Corporation, along with the departure of members Code, Delta, Phi, Iota, and the youngest member Jeta, who enlisted on November 9, 2016. Alphabet would go on performing as a five-member group, which would include the addition of a new member named Kappa, who was revealed on Alphabet's Japanese official Twitter on November 3, 2016. A Japanese comeback special was later held on December 2nd, 2016. Now getting into 2017, on July 25th, Heta announced his enlistment on his personal Instagram account. As a result, Alphabet was left with only four members. However, Heta would later leave the group. On July 28, 2017, Alphabet released their comeback with the title track song, Get Your Love. Now this song too is also a pop, so I highly recommend to go listen to that song because it's just amazing. Now moving on to 2018, in September of 2018, a new member would be added to the group and he would go by the name Lambda. On October 8, 2018, Alphabet would release a comeback with their newest member and the title track song was called New World. During their activities, they would transfer to a new company called W Entertainment. Even though Alphabet has lost and gained over the years since debut, they still manage to produce some high quality content that you all should really check out. Now, I hoped you enjoyed my first episode of Who Are They series, and if you guys have a group that you want me to talk about, leave a comment down below and I may make a video on them in the future. I just wanted to give a shout out to this comment right here that was left under my Red Velvet Oompa Oompa reaction video. Thank you Jason Mitchell for actually informing me about Red Velvet's concept, how they're expanding their concept in three different parts. I didn't know that I was off the internet for a while, so thank you for informing me. Now I understand what Red Velvet Velvet is doing and now I can keep up to date. I really appreciate that. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram page is MissGill. And thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one that I make, guys. Bye!